Analog Gadgets. Live. Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Hey. As always, I'm Josh from browndowgadgets.com, and I'm here with my favorite person to do live streaming with, Pete. As always, here. I'm Pete. Hello, I'm He's over Pete. here. He's Pete. He's always hey. somewhere nebulously off to my right. <laughs> hey. um, so, hi, thank you for coming on on this wonderful Tuesday yeah. afternoon. I hope your day is as sunny and warm and weirdly humid Oof. as it is here in Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, but to celebrate some very cool, groovy, and I say groovy because it is pretty groovy, uh, international space flighty things happening right now in the news, uh, we are putting together today a fun paper circuits activity a fun paper circuits rocket. Now, this is an activity where it's a greeting card, but also has a nice 3D element to it as well. Uh, we're doing some nice three-dimensional shapes, adding some LEDs to it, and making a fun circuit. This is a free template that can be found on our website, browndoggadgets.com. Browndoggadgets.com. Uh, 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 Pete? What? No, is I'm it, ready. Is I'm it, ready. Is it there? There, there, there it go. is. Browndoggadgets.com. Okay. Sorry about that. Pete needs his eighth cup of coffee today. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's a free template putting up on our website. We're putting up three versions of this this afternoon. We're putting up a this three-dimensional version here, which, we'll, which we're going to make. We're also going to put together a version of this that has uh, no coloring on it, so you can have kids color or do their own designs or whatnot on there. And we're going to be doing, uh, in the second half of the show here, a flat version of it. So it's very easy to just print off a printer, especially a flat version that has uh, no coloring on it. So very nice arts and crafts project that you can open and do other things with, add a UFO, add some Martians, add a, a cargo bay full of cheese. ISS. You can draw the ISS in there, right? International Space Station. Oh, yeah, that one too. Yes. Uh, so that'd be a fun thing to add. Uh, so we're going to be making up a couple versions of this today and showing off how to do it. Again, free template on our website later this afternoon. We just finished printing these off, so it'll be after the live stream. It'll be up on our website. If you like what you see here today and want to find out more fun STEM activities and projects, you can find all of those fun things on our various social media accounts. Yeah, you can find us all these places. Um, we post stuff frequently, a lot of free projects and activities. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make this. So let's switch over to our wonderful overhead view. Overhead. Thank you, Pete. Oh, it's very easy now. I know. We've got push button control here. Uh, so today, to make this activity, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need some LEDs, and we're using some big gumdrop size jumbo LEDs. You're going to need a CR2032 battery, such as this. You're going to need some regular clear tape or glue. I like tape because it's easier to work with. You're going to need a pair of fun-filled scissors, and you're going to need some conductive tape, which I have here. Now, this is our fun maker tape, which is a nylon conductive tape. Uh, you could use copper foil for this as well. Uh, I would not recommend using aluminum foil. That's way too much work, though you technically could. Now, if you need supplies, you can find supplies for all this stuff on places such as Amazon, Tons of different STEM websites. We have kits that we sell on our website and can be found through tons of tons of other websites as well. Uh, we make a little paper circuits kit. Yay. But if you have paper circuits materials already or other materials that would work for this, use those. Um, just use up your materials. This is a pretty straightforward paper circuits card. And there's a couple different ways of doing things depending on the materials you have. So let's just get ahead and let's make this activity. Should probably have some fun theme music here, shouldn't we? Do you, do you have a safety pin? Uh, no, but I don't need a safety pin. Uh, safety pin also helps because we're using some heavy card stock. So first and foremost, when you uh, go to our website and when we have this up there, you'll be able to download and print off a couple of fun templates like this. And this is just our rocket ship template. This is already colored because we don't want to sit here and color things during a live stream. Uh, thanks, Pete. Uh, safety pins. They're helpful for poking through card stock. And you have the kids color this. If you're doing things with the kids, definitely use the version that doesn't have any coloring on it. Then they can do the design work and the artwork. If you want to get really fancy, they could design their own rocket ship on here or UFO. Uh, it's really just a shape with some tabs off the side. Then we're going to do cut, 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 magic. And look at that. Look how quick I was at cutting that. That's amazing. I know. We are, we are pretty awesome at doing that. So this is the hardest part is cutting out the rocket ship. And we have some nice big tabs on here. Uh, I'm going to be using some clear tape, but you could also end up using uh, Elmer's glue would work just fine for this too. Uh, tape is just a little less messy. Um, so there. And then we have our wonderful template. And again, we printed this off here. Uh, we have some little guidelines here as well as where you could you can stick the uh, four little legs of the rocket or line it up however you want. But on the inside, we have a nice little ta-da paper diagram. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> and we just, very simple circuit here. Our battery, 
conductive tape and a couple of LEDs. Josh, that one has a minor printing error. Oh, printing <laughs> error. Oh, Pete. That was the first prototype we did. So. Oh, first prototype. Okay, yeah. we're using that. Uh, it should be pretty fairly identical. Yes. Uh, yes, but we're going to put two LEDs here, making a nice parallel circuit. Isn't that right, Pete? Ooh, that is true. Parallel true. circuit. Yes, yes. And those LEDs pop up on the other side. Uh, one LED for... Um, uh, the rocket ship red, the the flame of the engine, and we have another blue LED up top for the porthole, uh, because that's that, where the astronauts live. Well, they got to hang out somewhere. That's What's the right. point of going to space? Can't see anything. That's and then they space can space lame. They can look outside and say like Planet Earth is blue. Oh, and there's nothing I can I do. I don't know if there's anything they can do. Uh, we get in trouble for singing David Bowie on <laughs> live stream. Uh, so yeah, and we just uh, want to line this up. So we have the red LED down here and the blue LED up above. I was just lining these up to make sure which ones go where. Uh, so red LED at the bottom. We'll add labels. We'll add labels here when we get around to it. We Label. put this together at the last minute. What kind of LEDs you got there, John? Well, really? these are standard 10 millimeter LEDs. Now, like all LEDs, there is a short leg and a long leg. It's not due to some weird issue. It's because the <laughs> short leg is negative and the long leg is positive which will come in handy because we want to line up the positive and negatives here with our battery because if you don't have them lined up, especially with two LEDs, you'll have a bad time. Now, now wait a minute. Where's your resistor? Oh, Pete. What? Oh, Pete. Now, we are, we are fancy folks. Oh, wow. And we put resistors in our LEDs. But They're if you inside? Get, I know. It's magic of science. Wow. Actually, it's not magic. It's science. Okay. No, uh, if you use regular LEDs from anywhere with a three-volt coin cell battery, you do not need a resistor with your LEDs. You're fine. Um, without getting into any specifics for what we're doing it's so simple it doesn't need a resistor you technically should have one but not for this we, we had an engineer say hey well hold on now where's your where's your resistor oh old engineers <laughs> love to call us and email us and, and point out like things they think we're not doing correctly yes. but we, we are not building mission critical systems that are going to the moon no we're uh, building fun paper crafts our motto at our office is that these are projects for children because even we sometimes take things too far. Yeah. Now, I'm using heavy cardstock. I might recommend if you're doing this, use like some 60-ish pound cardstock. This is the paper we use in our big printer for our packaging. So it's really nice and heavy, glossy paper. A safety pin is really handy when you're using heavier cardstock or like a push pin. You might have on a cork board to poke holes for the LEDs. I'm usually pretty good about poking those LED holes through, but at trade shows, Teachers' number one complaint when doing an activity with us is they have a hard time poking the legs through yeah. there. So we keep safety pins around or push pins for them to poke through there because we want to make sure they're happy. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, I poked my holes in with my da 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 with my push pin. I'm going to line up my LEDs appropriately. Yeah, uh, yeah the other one has more markings on it. <laughs> that, yeah. So prototype. Yay! So we're going to poke these little guys through. Now I did not get these. They don't exactly line up from front and back. It doesn't. It's always, it's always better to poke from the front. Yeah, and quite frankly, it doesn't really matter either. Yeah. Uh, how exact you are, we're putting a little LED underneath a piece of paper. Uh, but through making sure my long leg is on the positive side, which is labeled on the official template. Same thing here with this guy. Uh, make sure my long leg is on the positive side, my short leg's on the negative side. Uh, eye hand coordination here, Josh. Watch as a grown man struggles to poke LED legs through <laughs> a piece right. of paper. Hey, Josh, you know, people can leave uh, comments oh, on they the can. video stream, and we will see them, and we can respond to them. We can. And John, are you out there? John Chavone, if you're watching, please comment, because you're always watching our videos, and we love you commenting. Uh, but there, that's it. I, I put all this on here. Yeah. Life is good. And now it's adding tape. Uh, if you're doing this with regular copper foil tape, um, copper foil tape isn't always conductive on the bottom, not like our awesome nylon maker tape. If you're using copper foil tape, put down a layer of copper first, then the LED leg, and then another piece of copper foil on top to get it down. Because typically the top of copper foil tape is what's conductive, not the, the sticky underside. Our tape is really awesome, and it's conductive on top and bottom through the stickiness. Copper foil isn't. That's the only modification you have to do with this. Or just use a regular clear piece of tape or something just to keep that leg down on top. So there, and so uh, when I'm done there, okay, they have, they have copper foil. Uh, Josh, we got we got a comment here. I don't know if you know what? a guy named Mike Zimmerman, but he says I'm here. So uh, that's, that's our first comment, and we've got another here uh, from Jody L. Lynn. 
Is this a kit that is purchased? Now, Jody, thank you for coming on. This is a free template you can get uh, off of our website. We have tons and tons and tons of free templates and directions and cards. Uh, we do sell kits. We do, literally, as I pointed out before, Jody, uh, we have kits we sell on our website and through pretty much every library and educational reseller or on Amazon. But you don't need our supplies. If you have a preferred uh, paper circuits s- supplier, like if you use the Chibitronic stuff or have materials you have, um, from other kits or activities or just supplies, use those. That's why you have a free template. We always put up free templates. Uh, hopefully you'll think of us in the future or just use our templates because we make some pretty darn good templates. Yeah. So, yeah, I always say, if you think that, oh, these guys are horrible, their kits are horrible, but, man, do they make some really good uh, activities? Use our activities. Oh, and Josh Jody said she's coming in late, but th- this is all going to be uploaded. It's you true. You can watch it over and over again. It's true, Jody. So if you want to come back and watch again, we always have these up forever. Yeah. And Jody... It's all good. We appreciate you watching. We're, we're just, it's a Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to start here underneath the battery, um, in the middle of the battery and over. Uh, and if you're using copper foil, it's really important you don't break the copper foil. Uh, copper foil has a tendency not to, again, be conductive on the bottom. Um, I used to use copper foil in my classroom back when I had a classroom. Uh, you used to be you know, cogniz- cognizant of the issues. I'm just going to lay it down and do, do, do. I'm going to save a little tape here on the end and I'm done because our maker tape is conductive on the bottom I can just press down here just make sure it's nice and secure and half of my electronics wow. is done amazing I know isn't isn't this fun if you need to you can show him the tape oh so peace pointing out here are better are better his better directions he made uh, prototype prototype yeah <laughs> again we made this uh, kind of late today uh, so we do a tape loop approach for a lot of our things um, where we put a little loop of tape on the bottom of a battery and then stick it down to um, uh, the paper. Wait, are you saying the electricity can flow right through that tape, right through the sticky part? Yes. What? Yes, indeed. Now, if you're using okay, copper foil tape or uh, Ooh, other yeah, material, no. uh, you can also take the dog ear approach, which is a well-documented way of just folding over the side and using a binder clip. Um, to do the same approach. There's a lot of different ways to make a paper battery holder. We just like this approach because little tape loop on the bottom, stick it down on top here, and now we've got electrical connection with that line around wow. the bottom. Ta-da! Again, as Pete keeps pointing out, he did a better job on version 1.1. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Prototype. This is what Pete does at work all day. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're, we've got that. We've got this entire negative line here yeah. worked out. Ta-da. And we're going to do the same thing up here. I'm just going to run the tape from the top of my battery down and over these two legs. And I'm not too exact when it comes to this stuff because I am not a fancy man. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the illustration there, it's a guideline. It's a guideline. It, it, There's a lot of leeway. Going. Although I had a wet man once at a trade show who uh, completely avoided the guidelines whatsoever and was bog- like mind was boggled by things didn't work. Just he had tape, like literally oh. <laughs> n- no rhyme or reason. And I'm like, well, it's a good learning moment. It's a good learning moment yeah. on why we should read the directions. Yeah, it is. 45-year-old educator. The, well, I believe one trade show we did, uh, this, this woman who was a teacher said, oh, teachers are the worst students. We don't read anything. We just try to figure it out. Uh, yeah, I mean, librarians are pretty good. I <laughs> yeah. like going to – actually, I'm talking about going to – we're going to go to the ALA conference this year, American Library Association event uh, conference in Chicago, but – uh, that got canceled due to COVID. Anyway, I put this down and make sure I just press down on here to make yeah. sure life is good. And wow. ta-da, we have well, LEDs. Yeah. If you want to, say, turn this off, just peel the tape back from the bottom. You could build your own switch into here, too. We just took a really simple approach with this mm-hmm. one. Some of our other cards have built-in switches, like press here, it turns on. You would just leave a leave a gap somewhere, but we didn't set it up that way. Now, now what if you wanted to turn this off? Is there yeah, just way? peel back this tape peel or back peel back tape, right? the bottom oh, like this. You're off. Wow. Put it back. You're on. Thank Game you. off. Game on. Yeah. I, mean, I made a Wayne's World reference. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with conductive tape for the day. Yay. And then we're just going to tape down this little guy, and he'll look quite nice, but it's kind of hard to see with all these studio lights, yeah, but studio lights, it yeah. does look quite nice in our That's testing cool. we made of the one earlier today. Yeah. Um, so that's that's it. Oh and, gosh! Now that red LED, you can you can angle it down as well. Ah, well, that's what we're gonna do for the other one, yeah. oh, okay. uh, for the other version, gotcha. um, to give it more of a outward blast. Nice. You can actually just you can bend when you put it through, just bend yeah. it facing bend it over. backwards. Yep. Now, these are diffused LEDs, which means they have a nice 360 glow to them. Mm-hmm. Clearly, these are like a flashlight beam; it just it's out. Yeah. Um, 
diffused ones are what you want to use for arts and crafts projects. It's a nice glow. Yeah. We can make that glow a little more directional by bending it down forward, which we'll do with the other one here, yeah. the, the card version. But now to finish this up, which I'm going to do anyway because we're going to take photos of this later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take some little pieces of clear tape here. And I'm not really good with clear tape, but I'm just going to put them on the bottom of these on these pads so they're sticky side facing upwards. Then I can just put this guy directly on top of here, on top of the, the card. I'm making these way too big. <laughs> yep, scissors. Oh, Pete, pointing out the scissors obvious. Are for cutting. I, I believe that is their, their main purpose. And Josh, just to remind all the new people joining the stream, you can leave a comment here, questions, whatever. We'll answer them. We'll probably show you brown dog gadgets, and maybe we'll... Uh, Nice sound effect there for people. So, yeah. You just want an excuse to use sound effects. <laughs> Pretty much. Pete loves sound effects. I think it's the only reason he hangs out and does live yeah. streams. Anyway, we're going to take this guy. I'm going to put him, get him down into the appropriate spot-ish. <coughs> ah. You, you, you could, could glue, glue it down, down too, too, I guess. Glue would probably work better, yeah. or a little, or a little glue, glue dots. Stick or something. Yeah, yeah a, little, a little glue stick would make this easier, but I don't want to use a glue stick no. because... We I wanted to just do this. Quick and easy. Yeah, and depending on what you're doing, yeah. uh, there's a lot of different ways. So again, like any good paper craft project, there's like eight ways of doing this, and there we go. Adult man struggles with paper. <laughs> the saga continues. Ta-da! I made a cool little wow. out of rocket ship. Nice. That, that, that you know, we need that one. DJ air horn. Excellent. Excellent. So that's this version of it. Amazing. I, Doing a raised paper craft like this is something we do for a few of our kind of bit, like I call them adult level cards or more yeah. like fancy cards. Yeah. But it's just a piece of paper bumped up a bit so the LED comes and glows from below. We have a nice Mario card as well we did last year, yeah. which is like Mario holding a star and the star has a color changing LED behind it. And again, it's just it's a flat Mario on printed on paper and then the star is just bumped up slightly above there on that spot. Yeah. It looks nice. It has a little effect. We've used a blinking red LED to do like a fireball effect again for Mario. I think is another one. Um, what other? We've got a couple of them. I always forget which uh, other ones. Oh, uh, we did like a uh, uh, Indiana Jones one where uh, with the the uh, Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. Yes, yes. yes. The most racially insensitive of the Indiana Jones <laughs> wow. movies. It really is. Oh. Um, but they got a Kalima where he's holding the beating heart in his hand, which is not really kid appropriate. Good. But we have like a blinking LED behind there, which looks really – it's a fun Valentine's Day card for the, the boy, I mean, I saw husband that or wife. I was a kid, so. It's an it's a, it's a, it's a action-adventure film. It is. With Indiana Jones. Oh, Harrison yeah. Ford. Uh, anyway, this is it. And we're going to do the other version because this is the bump-up version, which is, quote-unquote, more difficult with two LEDs. Yeah. First – Flat version, which is just one LED. Should I just can I zoom out here? Let me zoom out. You could probably zoom out. There we go. We're going to zoom out of it. Yeah. So this is the exact same project. We're just going to use one LED here on the bottom. And we're just going to poke again, poke a hole through the bottom. As Pete mentioned, poke holes through the top. Yes. yes. So, so sometimes, sometimes it, it'll, it'll look better coming from the top because sometimes the front and back don't always perfectly line, depending, depending on your printer. Sometimes it's a little off. Our nice big printer whatever reason doesn't align things as nicely as our our standard like brother printer we have mm, yeah so but it's one of those things that just the things just slightly off different the way they handle things um there you go book a couple holes yeah. we've got a much more simple diagram on the back side we're building the exact same approach we did last time with led battery and the tape loop approach for attaching the battery so i'm going to use a red led again long leg is positive short leg is negative as always with leds we're going to display those a bit. I'm going to poke it through. And with this kind of one, too, if you uh, we only have one LED, so if for some reason it's not turning on, flip your battery over and try again, then you're fine. Are you going to bend over the, the LED? For a Sometimes I bend down. the leg just like a little little hook on the end to mark like which one's positive, which one's negative. Are you going to bend uh, it so it aims down? Like oh, plane. son of a gun. You are <laughs> you are correct. That's that's. Uh, I like to do that before I even stick it in the paper but now that's that's a good approach choice, choice. as pete recommended bending this one forward a bit so that it faces down the biggest issue i run into with this is making sure that especially when working with kids that they don't somehow twist the uh wires mm -hmm. from the led there is a slight chance that the 
it might break on them, but they're LEDs. Sure. Like we always give a ton in our kits. You wouldn't even buy LEDs. You, you don't buy one. You buy like a couple hundred. Yeah. Um, and so there, it's bent over at a 90 degree angle. Then on this side, I can splay them out again. Ta-da. And we go negative first, then positive using conductive tape. Yeah. I'll use save that one for the other side. And how much tape are you gonna? You're gonna be using well, geez, uh, maybe a couple inches of tape on this one. Yeah, here. this is. And how long is the roll again? So on our website, we have 20 meter rolls, which is 65 ish feet. That's ten dollars. Our kits come with five meter rolls. You can buy things either in kits or parts a la carte off our website. And again. All these templates are free, whether or not you ever want to buy something from us. I always point that out. But, but please do. <laughs> but if you do, it helps uh, keep everyone around here employed. It helps us bring this amazing content to you for free. It's true. Uh, the studio, the uh, very sad Springer Spaniel below us, all cost quite a bit of money. Josh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. We've got a new comment here. It's our friend John. He's back. Oh, John, we were, we were hoping you were around. All right, man. He loves what we're doing. Uh, I just went way too far with my tape there because I didn't feel like cutting it because that would be that's okay. And that's fine. okay. Because it's not taking much. I'm going to do my tape loop approach where I do a little loop uh, of tape and stick it on the bottom of my battery. And that'll make a strong electrical connection because, as always, our maker tape is conductive on top and bottom. Unlike most copper foils, if you're All using right. copper foil for this activity, uh, just modify it slightly to make a different battery holder. We have a lot of examples on our website of of, when, of how to do that. And uh, yeah, we just stick this down. Now we have the negative line is connected. Do, do, do. And we're gonna run the positive yeah. on the top with another sh short piece of tape. I'll actually slightly measure this time. Don't, Don't go, go way too, too long. long. I, I know it's gonna, <laughs> if only we had several thousand of these rolls available to us at any given time. Uh, this tape those, is- Gosh, those, those are for customers. customers. That's true. Uh, this tape is pretty fun uh, because you can use this on fabric, on windows, on on your arm and seeing it's nylon, it just peels right back off again. You cannot, it's not reusable, but it's forgivable on very smooth surfaces. And it's also non-destructive. So if you put it on a t-shirt to make an ugly Christmas sweater, you can always take it off when you're done and you're good to go. So there you go. I've now added a, a forward facing if I press down on these <laughs> here. There we go. There we go. Always press down on your That's connection, loud. kids pre-bend the legs to put it in, I think. A little tighter, but yeah. There we go. Nice. It's bending outward a bit, facing kind of more facing down. Yeah. I've got to press those down a bit better on the back side. But if you're doing this with kids, uh, the big thing would be to uh, make sure that they would decorate things ahead of time. Decorate first, mm -hmm. then add yeah. electronics. Because it's a pain in the rear to try to doing decorations when you've got like, stuff underneath. Yeah. Um, but this kind of thing, too. You could add lots of different... Uh, wow, that's really... Not looking awesome for me. No, uh, <laughs> we don't have that trombone, but your triangle. There we go. You gotta press down your connections here a bit to get things to just. There you go. Wow. There we go. <laughs> the one I made is still running. It's I mean. basically fine. He's clearly. Uh, what did I? What did I do with my life there? Anyway. Well. Browndoggadgets.com. That's right. Free templates and more. Uh, I just need to. Put another piece of tape on here or something. That'll yeah. that'll work. When in doubt, the biggest issue with any time we have tape is just making sure you have a, a press down for good connection on there. And there you go. It's to get that that the oh, stickiness okay. really to overlap with the legs of your LED. Most of the time it works just fine. And this one I need to press down a little bit more apparently. Um, or if you're really 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 concerned, <laughs> just do the overlap thing you do with uh, copper foil, where you put your tape down first, yeah. then LED leg, then like another piece of tape or something on top, especially yeah. nylon tape. Then it's like double conductive, um, and, and you're fine. It's yeah. Every now and then into issues. Uh, minor again, easy to fix because it's a project for kids. Yeah. Uh, or for adults who want to do fun rocket ships in their spare time. Yeah. Uh, because who doesn't? But yeah, free template. We're going to put that up this afternoon. Um, we're doing a bunch of fun stuff. Tomorrow we're going to actually be live streaming uh, with Maker Camp, Ooh, uh, Camp, Make Magazine. We're going to be doing um, some techniques on how to do some backlighting of Legos, uh, clear Legos specifically, with our Crazy Circuits LEDs, uh, our little Lego compatible boards. So just uh, how to basically light up Legos with LEDs. We'll show a couple different techniques, both with regular LEDs and with our Crazy Circuit stuff, mm -hmm. just because a bunch of really easy ways to add lights to Lego projects. Um, Thursday we usually have an interview, and I... 
everyone I want to have an interview with has scheduling conflicts, so we'll see what's going on. Oh. Thursday, we might just end up making another project. I'm thinking we might actually do our clothespin battery tester because people really like that. It's a take a clothespin and LED and make a battery tester. Yeah. It's really easy and really, really, really handy when you have a table full of LED or, uh, batteries and you have what are good and what are bad. We'll try to do that. Again, free template on our website. Friday, we're doing our Friday Hangout, as always, so we'll be showing off... Um, Different activities, including our new solar bug we're working on. Ooh, Ooh solar bugs. Um, but, yeah. So we're going to do a bunch of fun stuff. And, yeah, we'll have a few weird things to show off on Friday. Uh, or Friday <laughs> Hangout. But, yeah, if any questions, comments, concerns, email us. Call us. We're around. If you want to use these projects, Pete, where can they find all these projects at? Well, I feel I like maybe roundoggadgets.com. Yay. Would be and follow us on, on social media if you can. I mean, if, if you're not a social media well. person, don't worry about it. We just post all of our new projects and stuff like this. We'd be like, hey, we made this thing. Here's a link. Um, you can interact with us. You can say, hey, that was awesome. I loved it. Or show us photos of you oh, making yeah. these things. Oh, we That's do love great. when people send us photos. Um, yeah. and if you're in a classroom or a library setting, that might be difficult because of privacy concerns. But just showing us pictures of the stuff that kids made is always yeah. very easy to do. And we always want to like, post like, hey, look, this is what other children made or other teenagers, other workshops, other teachers, how they implemented those in the classroom. It's always helpful for both us and for people we work with to see what other examples are out there because totally. I know a lot of people use our stuff. I just, we don't get a lot of direct feedback on how they're using them. And it's always, yeah. it helps us design new projects based on those needs. Yeah. And if somebody asks us like, Hey, can you do this? We're like, sure. Uh, most of the time, like we're like, we take requests. Oh yeah. yeah free oh, so I was like, yeah, can you do totally. a rocket ship? I'm like, we could do that. We've got like four of these kicking around in a yeah. to finish later folder. Yeah. Uh, we have like space shuttle that we three dimensional space shuttle. <laughs> um, that uh, was just a little too complicated, so we never really <laughs> finished it. Like it's it's nice, it was just a little too complicated. Yeah. And most people who want to do stuff tend to do stuff like this, where it's yeah, um, pretty simple stuff. Maybe I, I killed my LED by accident. No, it's still going. I just how embarrassing. <laughs> Are you a sad trombone? We don't have it yet. I'm just gonna give you applause. Yay! Work. And you just yeah connection. Uh, there it goes. But yeah, the cool. paper crafts are fun. So anyway, questions, comments, concerns, let us know. We're happy yeah. to have people around, mm -hmm. and we're happy to answer those things. We'll be around this week. As always, live streaming four to four days-ish, three, four days a week. So thanks, everybody. Yeah. We're going to get out of here and go back to work, but thanks. All right, All right goodbye. goodbye. Thanks for watching. Please visit rounddoggadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at Gadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.